Hi, welcome back to the channel. This week we're kind of continuing on where we left off last week with the dueling squelches. After putting that video up I realised it was more a stereo effect than it was a duel that I had intended when I started to record the video. So with that said, I intend to remedy that this week. And what I mean is that rather than have a stereo effect, I essentially want one sound to play and then another sound to play independently. Or I should say separately, not simultaneously. So to explain that by way of example, let's just solo this channel here, Dueling Leads. And you might be able to hear there are two distinct sounds in there. They are quite similar, so let's just give a bit more detail to that. Essentially everything that plays a higher velocity, let's say these ones, it sounds like this. And then anything that plays a lower velocity sounds like this. So that's more of a gritty sound, whereas the one at the top is more of a bubbly sound. And the way I'm doing that is I have a velocity set up to the level. And then on each one of those lines in the mod matrix, I have a mod remap on. So let's look at velocity. Let's just do sort. We have these two velocities down here, which is oscillator one level and oscillator two level. And then we have an inverse mod remap. So for the first one, which is oscillator one, for the first half of the remap, it's zero, and then it goes all the way to 100%. So what that means is if you get to velocity, anything less than, let's say the 64 is about here in the middle, Anything less than that, it does absolutely nothing. But then once it hits 64, it doesn't gradually ramp up like you normally would have with the velocity. It goes straight to 100%. And then similarly, for the second one, anything less than 64, which is here, it's at 100%. And then anything less than 64, it goes down to zero. So with that said, let's build a new one. Let's build just a simple one so I can explain the, the concept. I'm just going to duplicate this, call that original so I don't lose it because I probably want to come back to that. And now this is the one, the demo version that we're using. Now I have some random mutes on, let's get rid of those. And then we will do low velocity. Anything less than 64 essentially counts as zero. And then anything above 64 essentially counts as 100%. So it doesn't really matter what level these are on, as long as it's plus or minus the 50% line, if that makes sense. Let's just do init patch. And now let's take velocity to level one. Turn this down. Ramp it all the way up. Now if I play this back, you'll hear for the first half of the bar, it will be silent, or very close to silent, and then it will max out for the second half of the bar. So nothing, and then full. Nothing, and full. Similarly, if I take a ramp up here, it will gradually ramp up, as you would expect, with normal velocity mapping. So let's override that with a mod remap. We want anything for the first half to be zero, so nothing, and then it goes all the way to max. So nothing, max. So what that means is for the first half of the bar, this oscillator one isn't playing. Let's just put a filter on that just so we have something Nice to listen to. Let's just do a note on random to that also. Put it there. Now let's do a similar thing to oscillator 2. Level down, velocity on, all the way up. Let's just turn the phase randomization down. Oscillator 1 is going to filter 1. Oscillator 2 is going to filter 2, so that's good. Let's choose something quite different so we can know we can hear the difference. Let's just do, I don't know, something like this. 
Okay, something very different, so you know, so you'll be able to hear the difference. Let's go into our mod remap, and now we need to do the opposite. So for oscillator one, we had zero, then 100%. So we need to do the opposite for this. It is 100% and then zero. So now for the first half of the bar, we will hear this oscillator. Yep, and then nothing, nothing. Again, let's just put a filter on a bandpass 24. Let's just do a random to this one. Let's just put the wavetable position on an LFO. Now when we play this back, you will hear oscillator 2 play for the first half of the bar, and then oscillator 1 play for the second half of the bar. I should have done that the other way around, sorry about that. This LFO is two bars, so let's extend this pattern. Let's extend the playback to two. Do the same thing again. And now what we can do, we can randomize the velocity here. And now it will play in accordance with this velocity. So the first one will play oscillator 2, then oscillator 1, then 2, 1, 1, 1, and then 2, etc. Let's play this back. Let's just put a bit of delay on one eight dotted ping pong. Reverb. The effects will obviously apply to both sounds because they're both coming through the effects chain. What you can do if you have a sound that you like that is just that is working quite well with just the wavetable itself, you can send it to direct out if you like, and then it will bypass these effects. So in this case, it will bypass the delay and the reverb. But let's send it again to filter 2, back up to where it was. So in terms of practical application, the first step would be to create essentially two separate presets, two separate sounds. Create one in oscillator 1, going to filter 1, then oscillator 2, going to filter 2. Design them exactly how you would want them to sound in isolation. And then you do the mod remap. Let's have a listen. Obviously that was just a quick preset that I just created then on the spot. If we do the one that I took some more time on, it sounds like this. And a reminder, this is only the one lead. There, are, Everything else is muted. I just have the percussion and the kick and bass and then a single lead to get this depth of atmosphere. So yeah, as I said, create two, two leads that work well together. You can either have two that are dramatically contrasting, that will sound quite good, 
or you can add two that complement each other that kind of meld into one in this case here that I've done. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.